Danger Dolan. From falling out of planes to making war zone deliveries, we count 15 of the world's scariest professions. Number 15. Unlikely as it seems, the Alaskan crab fisherman is consistently voted amongst the most dangerous professions in the world. Even successful voyages aren't pleasant. These fishermen live in cramped quarters for weeks at a time, go days without showering, and regularly work 48 straight hours in freezing conditions. Hauling up nets or cages weighing several hundred pounds is hard work, but add pelting rain, rogue waves, and icy decks into the mix, and the work becomes lethal. These fishermen are at the mercy of unpredictable weather and ocean conditions, and, thanks to the state's geographical location, Alaskan waters are colder and less forgiving than most other fishing environments. Here's a fun fact. Fishing deaths make up almost a third of all occupational fatalities in Alaska, with the majority being caused by drowning or hypothermia. Number 14. That truck driver who honks for you on the interstate might seem jolly, but don't be fooled. He's engaged in one of the most stressful and dangerous occupations in the world. Truck drivers have to deal with inadequate road infrastructure, hazardous conditions, poor dietary options, high pressure delivery schedules, social isolation, and fatigue caused by erratic sleep habits. To make matters worse, many drivers pass the time by listening to commercial radio and no one should be subjected to that much cold play. Truck drivers experience more non-fatal injuries than workers in any other profession. The most common are back injuries, which result from heavy lifting after long-term sitting. Fatigue, the proverbial thorn in a truck driver's side, is a contributing factor in most injuries and accidents. Some of the world's most dangerous truck driving routes include the Mad Max-style endurance race from the Jordan border to the heart of Baghdad and Bolivia's North Yungus Road, aka the Road of Death, a narrow geologically unstable passage over an unforgiving precipice. Number 13. The Rodeo Clown. This one is no laughing matter. Rodeo clowns are just there for audiences to laugh at while stuffing their faces with popcorn. Their job is to distract the bull once he's emerged from the bucking chute. Working in teams, rodeo clowns shout, provoke, and throw hats so fallen bull riders can safely escape the ring. Rodeo clowns must be athletic and highly trained. Many start out as farmhands or cowboys. Average rodeo clowns make anywhere from $100 and $500 per job. However, the most skilled and experienced clowns make six figures a year. Not bad if you don't mind risking your life. Number 12. The Skydiving Instructor. Statistically, more people die from driving to the shops than from jumping out of planes. But try telling that to someone with a fear of heights. Takes a lot of training, discipline, and cold hard cash to become a skydiving instructor. You have to pass written and practical exams, earn licenses, and log hundreds of skydiving hours. I need a nap just thinking about it. Despite how hard it is to get into, most skydiving instructors earn a paltry $40 per jump. Average full-time, year-round instructors earn between twenty dollars and 40000 a year. However, instructors who are willing to videotape, assist in training, or perform competitively can earn much more. Considering the job requirement is to jump out of a plane, this is a relatively safe career path, but things can still go wrong. For example, in 2009, first-time skydiver Daniel Farr was forced to steer and land on his own after his veteran tandem instructor suffered a fatal heart attack mid-air. Farr said the dive was a gift from his girlfriend. Reports indicate she did not receive a Christmas card that year. Number 11. The Storm Chaser. Avert your eyes, astrophobia sufferers. Storm chasing is the pursuit of thunderstorms, hurricanes, and other weather-related phenomena. A controversial practice, it has cost many lives. It's also the subject of the 96 film Twister. Make of that what you will. While most storm chasers are thrill-seeking hobbyists, some make a bona fide living from it. Some professional storm chasers aid scientific research, while many others sell their footage to the media. Number 10. In a recent career builder survey, kindergarten teacher made the list of top 10 jobs striking fear into the hearts of American workers. With school shootings and kids acting way older than they are, maybe this isn't so surprising. Kindergarten teachers are often a child's first adult role model outside their immediate family. It's their job to help shape these malleable young minds so they don't become the criminals of tomorrow. Kindergarten teachers must deal with tantrums, overprotective parents, and the germs that are a package deal with young children. Average kindergarten classes contain 18 students, but overachievers France, Japan, Korea, Spain, and Portugal cram in 20 students. 
That's a lot of jam-covered fingers. Number 9. Corrections officers oversee men and women who have been arrested and are awaiting trial, and those who have been convicted of a crime and sentenced to prison. Corrections officers' day is anything but typical. One moment might be quiet and uneventful, while the next could be filled with danger and violence. Most people hold the fear that bad people are out walking our streets. Well, prison is overflowing with liars, cheats, murderers, and psychopaths. They're thrown together where they can scheme and enact their plots. It's like a freaking supervillain convention. Because of this, corrections officers have to be vigilant at all times. If an inmate overpowers an officer and takes his weapon, the result could be catastrophic. Exhibit just about every prison movie ever made. Number 8. The Professional Ostrich Jockey Although ostrich racing sounds like some crazy new Japanese phenomenon, it actually has a long and distinguished history, which can be traced back to ancient Egypt and other African regions. It also featured recently in the Prince of Persia movie, but since nobody saw that, you're forgiven for not knowing. Described as feathered ATST walkers, ostriches are very aggressive when threatened. A stressed ostrich will unleash a flurry of pecks, and a single kick can disembowel a human. Naturally, humans like to strap reins and saddles to them and ride them for their own amusement. Ostriches can reach speeds of over 43 miles per hour and cover up to 16 feet in a single stride. Number 7. Mining, as one of the world's oldest industries, has a long and contentious history. Miners spend long hours confined in tight spaces and work in darkness. It's a dangerous job that taps into many common fears. Claustrophobics need not apply. There's good money to be made from mining though, but the job comes with significant risk. We all remember the happy ending to the Chilean mining disaster of 2010, but positive outcomes like this are rare. Over 12,000 mining deaths are recorded each year, with many more thought to go unrecorded. Common mining hazards include cave-ins, gas explosions, vehicle or equipment crushings, chemical leaks, and electrocution. Miners also have significantly shorter life expectancies due to prolonged exposure to industrial air pollution. Suddenly working at Macca's isn't looking so bad. Number 6. The Bomb Squad Technician. So, the red or the blue wire. Whichever you choose, you're in for a stressful work day. The job of a bomb squad technician is to render hazardous explosive devices safe by defusing them or doing a controlled detonation. Amazingly, bomb squad technicians operate on a voluntary basis. Their suits, made out of Kevlar and steel plates, highly resilient but not indestructible. They use special bomb detection robots to mitigate risk, but some tasks require the pink, fleshy touch of a human. There's good money to be made as a bomb squad technician and explosive benefits. Gotta have nerves of steel though. Number 5. A pop concert security guard. Forget crowd control on streets rife with civil unrest. According to career builder surveys conducted, there's nothing more terrifying to American workers than rabid teenage fandom. Diehard fans often queue up for days at a time just for the chance of glimpsing their favorite teen idol. These security guards are the ones who have to deal with the hormones and pent-up anticipation. For a median hourly wage pay of $11.88, the risk of being trampled by screaming tweens hardly seems worth it. Number 4. Animal handlers are responsible for the safekeeping, dietary care and exercise of animals. They typically work in zoos or conservation reserves. Large zoos with many staff members often have teams working with one particular type of animal. They'll usually be a handler, feeder, cleaner, biologist, and manager responsible for one enclosure or a set of enclosures. This is the ultimate dream job for those passionate about animals, but there are still risks involved. Despite many behavioral studies, wild animals can be unpredictable. Like humans, they have moods and emotions and can act out without malice when bored or frustrated. Animal handlers, particularly those working with large or dangerous animals, have to remain vigilant at all times. In 2014, Australia's Shoalhaven Zoo made headlines when a saltwater crocodile named Johnny bit the hand off its trainer. Handler Trent Burton said he believed the attack was unintentional and that it only occurred because of a handling error. Still, it's an excellent cautionary tale. And as I always say, it's risky working with animals, children, or blindfolded lumberjacks. Number 3. The Stand-Up Comedian. Imagine a room full of every girl who ever denied you a date and you asked the hell out of them like flowers and stuff. 
He even wore a bow tie because you're a moron. It's freezing cold, they're all wearing parkas, and you're naked on stage. Oh, now you have to re-ask them all out at the same time. The clock's also ticking. You have less than a minute to win them over or you're gonna go hungry again tonight. As they say, you're only as good as your last show. This is how Seattle comedian J.R. Berard describes being a stand-up comic. It's a tough gig whichever way you look at it. A career in comedy requires you to figuratively expose yourself on stage, face any public speaking fears you may have, and become intimately familiar with rejection. Getting consistent laughs can take thousands of hours on on-stage trial and error. Still, those who enjoy making others laugh wouldn't have it any other way. Number two, the pest control technician. I would have thought watching Men in Black would dissuade anyone from becoming a pest control technician, but apparently this isn't so. Pest control technicians or exterminators, which is definitely the more badass job title, are paid to rid homes and workplaces of insect or pest infestations. Pest control technicians come from all walks of life and are usually required to be organized and reasonably fit. They are trained to safely manage all manners of infestations and will often use bait, traps, fumigation and pesticide to achieve their goals. This job would be unsuitable for anyone who hates the feeling of hundreds of tiny insect legs crawling all over their skin. Number 1. The High Rise Window Washer For an average annual salary of 28000 and the imminent possibility of gruesome death, the high-rise window washers zip from window pane to window pane to clean with samurai precision. They know all the business of everyone in the office and are responsible for many window-related bird injuries. So these washers need training and usually certificate before they're allowed to work at heights. They use power-operated access equipment, scaffolds, and abseiling techniques. It's a heavily regulated industry. Washers must assess every job before they begin and create an emergency rescue plan. Window washers hate to hear they've missed a spot. Seriously, it's like saying bomb at an airport. I just wouldn't recommend it. That's it for this countdown. And have a go!